Welcome to example number three. Uh, we have a car going around a flat unbanked turn uh, with a radius of 250 meters. Uh, we are given the coefficient of static friction which is 0.9 and we want to know what is the maximum speed that this car can negotiate this turn without slipping off the road, skidding. So let's start off by writing what we know as the given over here. We have the radius which is 250 meters. We have the coefficient of static friction, which is 0.9, and that's all we're given. Um, we have to figure out what the speed is, the maximum speed. And you notice there's no mass given for the car, and uh, my hint on that would be that the mass will probably will cancel out. So what we want to do first is um, look at this problem and think about the free body diagram drawn for the car as it's, as it's drawn in this picture. So let's first start to look at the car and think if this was the car here from a, a back view or front view, what forces would be acting on it? We have a normal force coming from the, the ground, pu pushing it directly up, and then we have the weight going through towards the center of the earth. Now there must be something that is keeping the car moving around this circular arc otherwise it would skid out. So there is an inward force, all right, that net force, that net inward force is the centripetal force, but uh, the, the real force that's causing it to move towards the center is that frictional force. Now that frictional force is static because relative to this axis here, it is not moving any closer or further away if it's skidding. So it's actually stationary relative to the axes that we'll show here. So let's put it on our x and y axes. So we're going to put an x-axis here to the right and a y-axis that is vertically out of the ground, y, here. And since there is a centripetal force acting towards the center, we have an acceleration, a centripetal acceleration towards the center here, towards the center of that circle. So now let's apply Newton's laws along our two axes, along the horizontal direction and the vertical direction. Uh, we'll start, first start off with the horizontal, right along the radius. We have the sum of the forces in the x, and it is accelerating towards the center, uh, mass times a. Now that a is the centripetal acceleration, which is v squared over r. Now there is a force that is causing this acceleration towards the center, and that is the frictional force f. And this is a static frictional force. Also, since we're looking for the maximum speed, that is the maximum value uh, where the car is on the verge of skidding. Uh, in that particular case, then the frictional force is the maximum amount, and that's why we're choosing to put an equal sign here rather than a less than or equal sign. Or actually, uh, gr uh, yeah, a greater than or equal sign if you're putting a force of friction is greater than or equal to the mv squared over r. Okay, so now what we can do is replace the force of friction with mu s times the normal force equals mv squared over r. And uh, we're about as far as we can go with this equation and we need to replace in the normal force. It means that we now need to look at the sum of the forces along the y-axis. And if you look along the y-axis, we'll notice that the normal force is directed up, the weight is directed down, and those two forces are opposing each other because there is no acceleration along the y-axis. It's remaining stationary along, uh, we're assuming this is a horizontal road here. So that the normal force here is equal to the force of gravity, or you could write normal force minus the weight is equal to zero, and the force of gravity is equal to mg. So now we're going to replace that into that equation here. And so now we'll have mu s mg equals mv squared over r. And you'll see our masses cancel out, so this shows that it is independent of the mass of the car. Or vehicle. So it doesn't matter whether it's a truck or a car, you put up a road sign that says this is the maximum speed, 47 meters per second. That means that it doesn't matter what size your vehicle is, it pertains for all vehicles because the mass cancels out here. So now let's rearrange for the velocity. The maximum velocity will be now uh, equal to mu s times g times r. Um, and then the square root of all that. So now we can substitute in here. The coefficient of static friction is 0.9. G is 9.8 meters per second squared. And the radius of the circle is 250 meters. 
do be careful. Make sure that when you look at WebAssign, for example, that you're using uh, all your appropriate SI units of meters and meters per second. Sometimes we like to give the velocity in, say, kilometers per hour, or we'll put the, the radius in terms of a kilometer. So you want to really go back to your SI units of meters, seconds, and kilograms. OK, so when you put that in your calculator, you should get 47 meters per second. And that is roughly equivalent to uh, 169 kilometers an hour. Okay, and that uh, is it for example number three.